how are you? Dion here with the Turquoise Iris, back for my favorite how to paint talk. No, that's not, I said that wrong, not how to paint talk. What's this called? My favorite paint show? How to paint show. How my favorite, paint show? yeah, it's my favorite how to paint show my favorite, live. My favorite paint show. Yeah, where did ever. paint talk? Oh, talk, paint talk. That's because it's called paint talk. Uh, trying to spill it all out. Hey guys, how are you tonight, Major? How are you, Madeer? Hi, Jasmine. Um, hello, Miss Q. You guys, I am, am streaming from three different devices for three different um, social media sites, so I don't leave anybody out. So, Lisa Dixon, how are you doing? Um, let me just go ahead and start by saying, if you ordered one of these aprons or um, purses, anything like that, they're all shipped, right? Woods? Yes. You got it all shipped. I got it all shipped. Um, everything is shipped up to date, shall I say. Um, but we still have a few aprons left. They are on my website at the Turquoise Iris. And then we have some totes and we have some purses and um, some other things as well. But uh, they're saying, hey, Matt. Hey, Matt. Hey. Um, we're back for part two of this piece right here. Where's so, um, sorry, he's on the iPad. Um, I hurt myself. You hear yourself. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> he heard it again. There you go. Okay, right. sorry guys. Okay, so um, just a recap real quick. If you missed part one, guys, I'm working on this new buffet. It's got a nice curve to it. If you can see that Instagram, you only see like part of the piece. So I apologize. But Facebook and YouTube gets to see the whole piece. So DIY paint is my paint of choice. It's a clay base. Thank you for all the hearts on YouTube as well. Um, it's a clay base paint. It does all of the magic for me, but in case you are um, unsure, I will list, uh, Q said, hi, Matthew. She's on Instagram, which I know you don't see. I, I don't see the Insta. Right. She said, hello, Matthew. Hello, Kowida. <laughs> Kowida. Um, so we have cherry picked and we have cowgirl coral and I am combining those together for my base coat. Now, granted, this is my base coat. So I want you to know it's going to look a lot different when I'm completely finished because tonight nobody panic, but, um, I'm already panicking. Because he saw the colors I grabbed. We also added in a little bit of water lily, which is the periwinkle that you're seeing right here. But guys, again, this is the base coat. I'm going to start layering in some colors. And then on Sunday, we're going to come back. And Sunday's the best day. Because why, Matt? Because it's... It's March 8th. Hump day? It's March 8th on Sunday. March 8th. That's Good. right. It's March 8th. It's now you're day. being a turkey. It's my birthday. Oh, so, that's um, your birthday. We'll I come back and we'll do the third um, the third coat. And it's going to look oh, a lot better as it starts to come all together. But today I'm mimicking a piece that I did a few months ago called Antoinette. Does anybody remember that one? Um, yep, we're going in with this. So Matt's like, e, what are we doing? Then we're going in with this. Hi, Mama. Uh, we're going in with this one, Salty Kiss. Just a little bit, guys. We've got to layer in the colors. And then what we'll do is we'll pull the cowgirl coral back over the top. We'll add in some blue iris, which is our bright cobalt. Then we'll finish with some white wax, and we will have that delicious finish that's very similar to the huge um, wardrobe that I did called Antoinette. So... March 8th is your granddaughter's birthday, too. Karen, yay! I'm older than her. Yeah, and then... Just saying. Uh, it looks like a Sharan Silver Lining Salvage. Uh, that is... She has a birthday, too? It's her oldest daughter's. Her oldest daughter's. Well, Sunday's a great day. You told day. me you were the only one ever born on March 8th. I lied. Huh. Huh. I just right. wanted you to make it, you know, all about me. Yeah, it's the time time. You know what I get? I get to lose an hour of sleep that day, bro. It's not like you get a lot anyway. Yeah, it's true. Okay, so I am going to grab this brush. This one's actually from Debbie's Design Diary. If, and I don't remember what it's called, but I also am going to be using um, the Dusty from Paint Pixie, you guys. So you can get this on DIY Paint website. You can get this on my website by... Um, Probably, no, 
What? I don't know. What? Your birthday is the same day. A bunch of people's birthday is celebrating. They're celebrating with me on Sunday. I know, but you <laughs> told me you were the only one ever. I did not tell day. you that. Now you're making up stories. And I, it's the you're specialest day up. ever. It's what you've always told me. It is the specialist day ever, except for the birthdays of my children. Right. Okay, on. so I'm going to add some water. And I'm going to bring in a little bit of yellow and a little bit of green. Nobody's going to panic. I'm only going to do a little section. I am going to work on the legs as well. But then we'll, we'll, we'll go down. We're going to get a little bit of this on here. And you're going to be looking at me like, she is crazy. She's crazy. But you've got to hold on. Like, you've got to just hang tight and come back with me on my birthday Sunday. And we'll start pulling it all together. So for, for now, we're, we're really in like, oh, she's pretty decent looking. But then she's going to be crazy. Okay? She's going to be loud and, and just odd and you're just going to need to trust me through the process because every good piece of art takes time and it takes layers. Um, Matt, you can't forget now, can you? <laughs> I'm, I'm reading on the Instagrams. On the Instas? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to pour a little bit of green onto my tray. Again, if you're popping on, I just want you to know that aprons and purses and totes have all shipped. Hello, Heather Watson. Okay, we were just talking about Sunday and what we're going to do on Sunday. And um, let's start adding in these colors. Nobody's panicking. Everybody's going to trust the process. Nobody's going to turn the channel and turn it off because girls lost her mind. Are they, Matt? We'll they see. They might. The numbers are about to drop. Yeah, they may go way down here in a second. <laughs> the numbers may just go, forget her. She's lost all credibility whatsoever. <laughs> Can, please have faith, you all. Please, 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 please. All right, so I'm going to incorporate a little bit of yellow on these drawers. And I am using the number eight from Paint Pixie right here. Number eight. Now... We're going to top Heather, this. Heather, what, do you, what, what, what are you asking, Heather? We're going to see the question. I may have missed something. That She said, do I have to watch the replay to find out? Find out what, Heather? Oh, Sunday, honey. I said we're gonna, what we're going to do on Sunday. We're going to oh. sing happy birthday to me. That's what. Um, I mean, Matt's going to sing. To I'll us. sing. Oh. I'm, I'm going to do the Marilyn Monroe. No, happy that's birthday. What, no, that's what Q does. That's how she sings happy she birthday. She got it from me. No, she didn't. She did too. <sighs> she stole it from me. That was my thing. You that was your thing. I've been doing I've been doing that for years. Oh my goodness. Is this Oh my goodness. I'm gonna just stop right there. So I'm just saying. Yeah, I know what you're saying. So don't worry, guys. We're putting in some color. We're going to put color on top of it. And then this little yellow is going to be peeking through in some areas. Remember that we're topping this girl off with white wax. So everything that seems really bright right now is going to be softer and more elegant in the end. Hi, Laura, guys. I'm so glad that you guys are here. Laura has a question. Thank you, on Michelle. The, on the YouTube, she says, if a piece is wax and you want to change color, what would you do? I, if a piece is wax and you want to change color. So sometimes when I have a piece that sits for too long, maybe six months and doesn't sell, and yes, that happens to me from time to time, I definitely have that happen. So um, I will just lightly sand it and just roughen up that wax. I don't strip it. I do not start over. DIY wax, or DIY is a clay-based paint, so it pretty well sticks to anything. But I do roughen up the wax just a little bit. Now I'm just going to dry brush a little bit, you guys, with the yellow in a few areas. I like to call that feathering. You call it feathering. It's not really blending. It's, so you made that up? or? It's a technical term. Is it? Yeah, it's a, yeah. It's a paint technical term. Yeah. I've got a fun fact for you. You have a fun fact? I do have a fun fact. What did you do? Google this before we went on? No, I, you did. You no, be, this is all in you my brain. Fun fact nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just like fun facts. I'm okay, just well, give it to me, bro. I'm just kind of waiting for Gavin to get on. I know well, he Gavin it. has to find out he got his apron shipped today. Um, so many people have March 8th birthday. Yes, thank you. I'm celebrating with friends then. That's awesome. Go ahead, honey. Give me the fun fact. 
Oh, are you ready now? Yes. Are you not telling me? What? No, I will. Okay. I don't understand. Right. Was that a tease? Okay. I'll, this, I'll just make it true or false. Okay. Good. All right. Is it true or false that art was in the Olympics? False. You gonna let them answer too? I'm gonna give it a minute. All I'll right. say it again. Is it true or false that art was in the Olympics? Honey, that's absurd. It sounds really funny, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Oh, this is nobody's panicking. Did our numbers drop? Uh, yeah, we're down to ten people. Ten. Ten people. Great. Okay, well, Gail, Gail says false as well. I told them to trust me. Art who? <laughs> Art as in painting, as in stuff like that. Robert says true. Robert, come on. Well. A little dry brushing here. This is you said stuff. false? Honey, art in Olympics? It's actually true. <clears throat> Between 1912 and 1948, art competitions were part of the Olympics. Medals were awarded for architecture, literature, music, painting, and sculpture. Well, I'm super disappointed now. Why would they stop doing that? That's what I'm telling you. It's fun facts. I'm just saying. Uh, That's so disappointing. Why would they take it out if they had it for 30 years? Here's the part. Here, now, uh, are you ready for this answer? Because I've got that answer. Let's go. Let's go, bro. The Jurid Art competitions The were what art? J-U-R-I-E-D. Did you just make up a word? No, that's what it says. Uh, competitions were abandoned in 1954 because artists were considered to be professionals, while Olympic athletes were required to be amateurs. Since 1956, the Olympic culture program has taken their place. Well, I'll be. Fun <laughs> fact for you. I'll be. Fun that fact. is interesting, and I'm super disappointed now because I think it should be brought back. We need to create a petition and get art back into the Olympics. How do you decide who's a professional and who isn't? Because the Olympics are about amateurs. So how do you decide if you're a professional or amateur? Too many questions. I don't know. <laughs> Trust me, guys. We've got to let it dry. This is the second coat. We'll come back in with the third coat on Sunday, my birthday. Okay. Okay. I'm scooting you guys over to the side here. Aloha, teaspoon's here. <laughs> I just like saying that, teaspoon. If you're paid, you're a pro. Mic drop. If you're paid, you're a pro. So it's you're just a like pro. if so, I'm a pro. There's a lot of people on here that are pros. I'm a pro. Okay. Now, green and yellow. Nobody's panicking, although Matt said the numbers dropped drastically just now. Yeah, and they're still going down. They're still going down. Yeah, we're, we have, I think, three people on here. Three? But they're, but they're good people. Let me, man, good I could name three people, but I think there's more than that who would not abandon me. Oh, that's Stick with true. It. Julie, Julie Austin Johnson. Pros are now allowed in the Olympics. That is exactly right. Oh, they are? Well, like the basketball athletes? players. Like the basketball players. They're all professionals. They're allowed in the Olympics? Yeah. Well, I didn't even know that. Heather I got Bain, too much hello, water. Heather. Sorry, guys. I got too much water. I had to come down to the second drawer. I'm back to my uh, number eight here. A vintage sands on. We got rainbow, teaspoon, pretty little, pretty little wide. And this is liquid sunshine and salty kiss. And we definitely have... Um, I have an affiliate link. If you guys ever want to try this paint or try these colors, you can order it directly from my affiliate link and have it shipped right to your house. Nobody's panicking, right? Linda, Linda Skag, she says, hello from Maryland. Hello from Maryland. It's actually Maryland. Yeah, but did you say that or did she say it? She said it. I no, said I, I said Mary Land, but we pronounce it Maryland. <laughs> I thought she said that. I didn't know if she you said it when you read it. Mary Land. It's Mary Land. Mary Land, because they're Mary. We've never been there, Woods. We should hit that Maryland one of these days. 
Wait a minute, I have been there. Who are you texting while we're on a live? I'm not. You're texting. No, I am not. Oh my gosh. We're on a video, Woods. See, you just sent it. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm reading these wonderful You're comments on the job. No texting. Beautiful, beautiful people. And now they text back. So go ahead. I just, you text I, while we're on the... I am, I mean, I am seriously multitasking tonight. It is fantastic. Did you even hear what I said? I kind of surprise myself sometimes. Okay. We should probably call this the Matt Show. Okay. We don't even call it the Dion Show. Why would we call it the Matt Show? Tell whoever it is that you're busy. <laughs> Oh. Okay, so are they asking anything about what I'm doing, or are they just talking about your fun facts? I'll be honest with you, fun facts are a big hit. <laughs> Great. So Thank you, you should... Amy. Doing a wonderful job multitasking. Thank you so much. Which Amy? I, I, uh, Amy, oh, oh, what are we doing here? Oh, yeah, um, Amy Jorgensen O'Connor? AJ. Hey, girl. I'm okay. Keep trying to keep up with these comments. Those three people are writing like crazy. Nobody's panicking, right? We are like, ding, ding. yeah, you hear the train. That's because people are texting him while we're working. You're on the clock. <sighs> Shh. <laughs> I'm on the clock. I'm always on the clock. I wish I'm probably we'd get a lot more done. I'm probably the most underpaid husband out here, out there. Please. Oh. Come on. Let me go ahead and get the camera, too. Have a seat. Mo text. It's fine. Oh, text. I'm, I'm, go ahead and text. Oh, I'm yes, you go text, and I'm going to move the camera for you. <laughs> you guys, if you're just uh, popping on, you don't know who I am or what I'm doing. My name is Dion Woods, and I am the owner and artist of the Turquoise Cyrus. And this is a place I like to come often and paint for you. So I'm going to work on this section as well. She's in her stage where she's just not quite sure where she's going to end up and what she's going to be, but please. Hold on and don't change this. Don't don't push done or she's cray or send any. Um, don't send any ugly comments. Just bear with me. Uh, Mary says we believe in you. Thank you, Mary. Uh, will you be painting the legs? Yes. And top different colors? No, I'm painting it all like this. I'm, I'm doing it all like this. I'm just kind of sticking with this to show you the blending because I feel like the bottom will be one of those things I do not on camera just because it seems really boring. But um, the yellow will only be peeking through a little, little tiny bit, as same as the green, but we have to put it on. We'll put some color over it and then we'll do some wet sanding and let some of those colors just kind of peek through there, okay? Uh, Marissa says, never in a million I would have thought to use those colors together. Thank you. Wow, says, looks great. Thumbs up. Red big heart. Yes, girl. Well, it's going to look a lot different. We're not, we're not going to, we're not quite there yet, but, um, I do like to keep you guys on your toes for sure. Uh, Heather Watson, hubby, hubby's B-Day is on the 13th. I'd uh -huh. love some gift ideas. I have the hardest time with guy gifts. All right, Woods. All right, I'm up. All right, this is a test. I think she's testing Just so me. you know, Heather, he's terrible when I ask him what he wants for his birthday. Okay, so guys, terrible. really keep it simple for the most part. Um, a good pair of uh, socks or I don't know, how old, See, I don't know how old your husband is, but I'm telling you, the older I get... The more I really enjoy the socks are really good. Wow. Um, I'm trying to think. Does Heather, did, Heather, does he like to fish? He's all mine, guys. Fish? Maybe some fishing stuff. Um, you can't go wrong with, like... No, I don't know if he fishes, baby. They're in the desert. Oh, probably they're in not, the, They're in the probably Vegas not. area. Probably not. Maybe a um, skydiving lesson. Wow. I'm just saying. Wow. Kind of, that's kind of cool. I mean, Seems like that might be... Okay, he'll be 54 this year, so... Okay. That's awesome. Um, 54, I'm trying to think when I used to get my dad when he was 54. Um, you mean when maybe, I got your dad when he was 54? Yeah, when, when you got my dad when he was 54. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe a cowboy hat, maybe some boots, cowboy boots. 
We didn't buy him that. No, but maybe it'd be we nice. got him a That would be nice. Oh, it would be a great gift. Does he yeah. need new cowboy boots, Heather? Maybe I mean, I mean something of like that. You can wear. You know, you can take him out on the town and show him off in his brand new. Show boots. him off. Yeah, gotta be proud, right? I don't know. Are you gonna wear your boots on my birthday so I can show you off? I'm kind of like. Is I'm there? Kinda, I'm kind of like a side. Here's boot. the funny thing. Okay, our brother-in-law turned fifty two days ago. Guess what we bought him? What did we buy him? Socks. We bought him socks. Now, granted, we bought him three pair of fourteen dollars socks. They had. Stuff what were those brands? I don't. Know. I don't know. We had to go to the mall, and we had to go in Champs, and get these socks. But they are printed. I can't remember the brand. Start with an S. But now that I think about it, we bought our brother-in-law for his fiftieth birthday three pair of socks. Boom. A replica of his Ooh, first, first car. car. Oh, that's big lead right there. She's better than you at this. I know. That's really good. Who said that? Um, Berta Hartshorn Downing? Ooh. Ooh. Let's talk about Berta. Berta Downing. She's fantastic. Lives in Colorado. Love her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I uh -huh. do too. Okay. Uh -huh. Great. Yes, yeah, she's great. Um, so, listen. Let's talk about our first cars. Food. F first car. My first car? My first car was a 1989 Bronco II. Eddie Bauer edition. The Eddie Bauer edition. It was the navy with the camel stripe along the bottom. He thought he was so cool. I was cool. Were you? I, Notice I, he said was. Was, yeah. Stance. Stance socks. Krista, that's what we bought. I have, mm -hmm. I have kids now. I'm not cool anymore. I think you're cool most times when you're not using fun facts. Fun facts are fun. Like on the... YouTube's and the Facebooks. Well, they're fun and they're factual. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Heather Watson said she had a Dodge Aspen. I don't even know what that is. I know what it is. But then again, we're older than you. So... <laughs> That's true. You I had a... 89 silver... Pontiac... What was that thing called? Grand Prix. I had a Grand Prix. Pontiac Grand Prix, 89. Orange Dodge Challenger. Hey! Uh, bought it to match the pom-poms in high school. <laughs> that, was, that was AJ right there. That was AJ. That a girl. Okay, so we're at the stage where we have to walk away from all of this because we're going to come in Sunday hot on my birthday and bring in more coral, and it's going to tie all together. We'll do some wet sanding, so let's lower the camera. <clears throat> And work on the legs. Bum, 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 bum. And then I want to hear what kind of cars our people, our our friends were driving How when we they looking? were younger. Um, why don't we go just a little bit further down? Okay, perfect. Right there. Okay, we're going to work on the legs just a little bit. Bump, bump, bump. Michelle, someone, I want to know what Michelle said. Michelle? Yeah, on, um, on the YouTubes? Facebook. Mitch's first car was a 68 Camaro. Oh, that was, that was Michelle. Oh, Sherry Robinette. Uh huh. Nine passenger station wagon. Get out of town. Oh, that's big league Woo! right there. Woo! A nine-passenger station wagon? That should be illegal. Okay, uh, Gail says, oh no, I win this. I had a Mercury Comet that had a decal along the bottom Mercury. that said Mustang. <laughs> a Mercury Comet <laughs> that had a Mustang decal. Ooh, Ooh. 1963 Chevy Nova Fastback, light blue. Cost. Gosh, I wish we could have that, have that car back. We had back. those prices back. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Oh, 68 Mustang. Go. Oh, now they're talking. That's what you wanted was a Mustang. A 68 Mustang. That's big league right there. I wanted red with white interior with the white top. Uh, oh, I'm... Robert Gloria had a pickup truck with a CB radio. Ooh, <laughs> 1957 Chevy Bel Air. Hey. Some, you guys. Uh, Wendy Miller had a Mustang 2, then a VW Rabbit, then a Jeep Wagner. 69 Camaro, Vintage Sand. What? what? You 
spoiled things. Tell me you things. still have these cars. You spoiled things. What? 70 gold Chevy Impala? Honey, their parents left them more than yours left. They, I guarantee you, you ladies and, and gentlemen <laughs> were taken care of. <laughs> Uh, oh, 69 MGB British Racing Green. Ooh. My friend had an MG. It was a turquoise MG. It never ran, but we sat in it and acted like we were going somewhere. The one time she got it to start, it broke down at an intersection, and I never got back in that car again. But we pretended we were going somewhere. It was a tiny MG. We would have gotten ran over. She was not the best driver either. I can say that because she's not on here. Oh my gosh, uh, 69 Nova in high school, and then now Melanie and I are working on a 56 Chevy Bel Air. Oh my what? goodness, what? I love old cars. I'd rather have an old car any day over a new car. You guys, that's so fun. Nancy Heitch had a 1978 Firebird Formula. Ooh. Fancy. You have a fancy. 67 red Mustang for a second car. What? Red. I'm telling Who you. Who is that that had that? I, I'm kind of thinking I needed different parents when I was growing up. No. <laughs> What'd your sister drive? It was a turquoise. My sister drove a <clears throat> 1978 uh, uh, it was, uh, Trans Am. Was it a Trans Am? Trans Am. And the door, like, the, she couldn't get in, so she the, used to have to, like, claw, literal, crawl well, over the, door, the window. The, she couldn't open and close the door because the door weighed more than she did. Yeah. She's a tiny little, tiny little thing having to like launch herself into the passenger door to get in because it wouldn't unlock. <laughs> uh, uh, Beautylicious, my first car was a 1974 Volkswagen Beetle. Nice. That's awesome. All right, honey. All right, we never really answered Heather about gifts for her husband. Well, I think socks, food. I mean, the way to a man's heart is food, right? What if she doesn't cook? Well, you, they, that's what restaurants are for. Okay. Maybe a favorite restaurant with, with a, a, his, his, his movie that he wants to she see. She is in Vegas. Oh, my goodness. Um, I could think of a million things in Vegas. No, you couldn't. You've only been there once. It was 20 years ago. I know. That's why I say I can think of a million things now because I haven't been there in 20 years. <laughs> but they probably don't want to go to Vegas Strip. No. I wouldn't think so. But I like the cowboy boot idea. If Does he wear cowboy boots, Heather? Guys, this is uh, Cowgirl Coral and Cherry Picked, and it was what was on here, and I'm just adding it to the legs, and I'll end up doing this. I'm not going to paint all of these while you guys are on here, because that would just bore you to death. That's true, Robert Gloria. Um, uh, he mentioned maybe a golf club. I don't know if he golfs. There's a lot of golfing in Oh, in that's a good and, idea. Yeah. Maybe, um, what's that top golf? You know, going out there and having a good time with some friends? Uh-huh. It's always yeah. fun. Yep. No, but I'm terrible at that game. I am. Uh, Teaspoon says she's really loving the legs. And she put loving in caps. So I know she means it. So she means she loves it. Yes. Oh, she said golf is his jam. Oh, man. Uh, there's a ton. I mean, you could buy him, like, some green fees for a really nice uh, golf course, maybe. I know there's some nice ones down there. He would really like that. Day with the boys on the golf. Well, what if Heather plays golf too? That, well, if she does, then it, you, and then you do a golf and spa day, right? Golf and spa. Right, so you golf, and then after that, you go to the spa for the massage and the, and the, the whole thing. Yes. Now that's a plan right there. Yes. Barbara Sullivan just joined. Hi, Barbara. You guys, we um, we will be coming back Sunday, 8.30 Central Time for Paint Talk to follow up with this. I'm hoping I get the two sides done and get the legs completely done so we can really get in to the fun stuff with this crazy little thing right now. So if you're just popping on and you think, I don't know what she's doing, but that's hideous, I'm not even anywhere near being done. So don't give up on me, okay? Yeah, I think a lot of people give up on you. You think they've given up on me? Yeah, they're going to come back next week, and then you're going to work some magic, and they're going to go, what? Oh, I hope so. I hope they haven't given up. But if they do, that's okay. I just hope they come back. Uh, Mojo, hi from the UK. It's 3 a.m. here. Welcome. Welcome. Hello. So why don't you go through the colors real quick again? Okay. I am using Cowgirl Coral and um, 
cherry picked both colors from DIY paint and now I'm gonna add in the third color that I brought in hello Sheila I saw your hearts um, which is water lily it's a clay based paint you guys I cleaned this piece and made sure there wasn't anything gooky and dirty on it um, but DIY paint sticks to anything so there's no priming needed and I'm gonna get my brush back out that I had the other night uh, this is the French tip this is um, Amy Munson, you're awesome. Thank you. This is the French tip from Paint Pixie, which is also available using my affiliate link. I'm just going to highlight in here. So we had, it's this color you can kind of see in here. When we come back on my birthday, we're going to bring in Cowgirl Coral and um, probably the, what I say, the blue iris. And she's up there. That blue is up there. It's going to be good, guys. Just hang tight. This is kind of a a duplicate of Antoinette. It's the process. You have to trust the process. You just can't paint a piece in two hours and say you're done. Well, I mean, you can. I mean, you can. I mean, if you're only doing like two colors, maybe even one color, you could get it done, you know? But she used like 27 different colors. 27. Maybe. A little maybe, bit maybe, dramatic maybe, woods. Maybe 25. It's a little dramatic maybe woods. 25. A lot of people are really loving it. Well, I appreciate your support, guys. We're not anywhere near where we need to be, but we're going to get there. I, I would have to agree with Barbara Sullivan at this point. She says it looks like a bowl of sherbet. That works. <laughs> that works. It's, it's, I'm getting a little hungry, to be quite honest with you, looking at it. <laughs> that works for me. We have 60 degrees in our weather coming up. Baseball officially starts tomorrow, not just scrimmages. Real games start tomorrow, so we're looking forward to that. We're, we're starting the starting a bang with the tournament tomorrow. Uh, Robert asked a question uh, on on the on the uh, Facebooks. What should I get you for your birthday? And he suggested possibly a cowgirl hat. A cowgirl hat. She looks good in a cowgirl hat. I'm not I kidding. will. I wouldn't wear it though. I wear so many hats. We. I have like thirty hats, including my ball caps and everything. But I probably would not wear a cowgirl hat. Teaspoon says she sees Lucky Charms. Hey, <laughs> you're seeing the marshmallows. Oh, that's funny. Because everybody's so kind, I know no one is insulting me. You do have a ton of hats, don't you? Well, you got me a hat rack for Christmas. A freestanding hat rack that sits in our bedroom because they were all over the wall in my closet. And so now they're hanging all together. Now, I do. Unfortunately, I don't wear them as much as I want to because not enough people wear them in my, like, I just always feel like I stand out and never want to stand out. So then I get into I get like insecure about wearing it in public. Sometimes, sometimes I don't care. Yours was maroon. Westmore versus Edmund. Wait a minute. Number six is my family. All right, that's right. Uh oh, uh, Jennifer Thomas, get her a family trip to Australia for her birthday. Ah. <laughs> wow. Uh, a Karen Korzynski, uh, she wants to know who's posting all your links on your... That your is website. my, f f my admin, Miss Michelle Replogle. She is the owner and artist at Eleven Eclectic. It is not Matt doing it. <laughs> that is my admin and she, um, is a dear station. friend and is helping me. So thank you for noticing and, um... She's trying to be as helpful to you all as possible and save me from having to go back and do it later. So thank you, Michelle, for that. She is thank on you, Facebook. She's not on YouTube, but she is on Facebook, and what she's doing is posting. No, she's on YouTube. Oh, she is? I, she may have gotten off by now. Ah, but yeah, she's, thanks, she's girl. Up. Okay, so we're at the point where we're going to have to walk away. I still need to do the two legs, but that's boring. I'm just going to do the exact same thing. I've got my tray of paint. Um, and we will be back on Sunday, March 8th, 830 and we will start pulling this piece together so it makes a little bit more sense and it's not so crazy crazy. Um, Gail, I, it's Holden playing in Edmund, right? It's not Elijah? Both of them playing in Edmund. Well, what number is Holden? I, have like, I haven't no seen idea. his jersey I yet. I don't think he's got his jersey yet. Um, so my oldest is number 24, Gail. 
but that's for varsity. And then the freshman, I don't know what number he is yet. Karen. Karen. She's, Which Karen? Karen. Karen Brown? No, Karen Korsinski. Okay, yeah. She said. Thank you, Michelle. She said, good job, Michelle. I didn't think Matt was doing it. Hee <laughs> 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 well, hee. You were right. I mean, that, there's a lot of things I can do, but um, that's not one of them. He's not very handy. You thought it was Matt? No, Robert, you did not. You are you are being ornery tonight because you did not actually think that. Hey, Gavin showed up. Hey, Gavin. Gavin. Hey, Gav, listen, we, um, we shipped your apron today, so you'll be getting in the mail, and I'm done here. I'm sorry. So you'll have to watch the replay. You guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us again tonight. I appreciate you, and I appreciate you putting up with Matt's fun facts. To Gavin, go back. Listen to my fun facts. It's really cool. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thanks so much, and I will see you um, Sunday, March 8th, 830 Central Time. Same place, same time, different day. D, I look pretty tonight. Laura, thank you, honey. I am, we, we talked to your husband the other night. It was so nice of him to come to the banquet. Um, see you guys later. Good night. See ya. See ya. Oh, reach, reach. <laughs>